contact, and was able to, uh, to finish in the end zone. Right after the goal line stand, you guys drive down the field uh, 98 yards. I think there was I think there were six first downs in it. You kind of ground the ball down there, got the ball. They got the ball for a short, and then you got it back and started driving again. Then the, then the uh, first rain delay came. Prior to that, were you seeing them worn out, tired? Because it, it was hot at that point. They'd been on the field, the defense, for a long time. Could you be a sense that, that they were loosening up and, and that, that things were really going your way? Yeah, I think there was a couple points in the game when we were sustaining those drives where you could kind of feel, obviously, we had the momentum. You could feel the uh, the energy of the defense kind of kind of let go a little bit. But uh, they played us tough the whole game. You know, I don't think it was ever a drastic drop off where they were completely gassed or anything like that. Obviously, they came in in good shape and uh, you know were able to play play tough the whole game. Talk, talk about the uh, uh, the interception, the Gusecki, what you saw and what you tried to do. Yeah, it was on me, completely on me. You know, we had a one on one matchup there. And uh, have to find a way to get him a better football. Um, your, your performance after, after coming out, you're able to run a little bit. You did a lot of things out there. Got hit a couple times. Um, how do you feel about about the way you played after after the long layoff? Yeah, I feel like I left a lot out there. You know, there was a, a lot of plays that, that I want to have back. Um, you know, had had a lot of time in between the the breaks to think about what had happened. You know, and, and plays you want to have back where usually you don't really think about those till after the game. So that was kind of unique, but. Um, but yeah, there's a, a lot of good things I think we did, and, and some things where, you know, if you see a look again, then you know we should be able to take advantage of it. Brian, you guys in the red zone, obviously the, the point is to be aggressive there, but um, you know, by going for the fourth and one, the second play, and kind of just head up to the metal, is that something that your personality and Adam's personality kind of plays into each other and how you guys want to run this team, just run this offense? Yeah, you know, we want to get in the end zone. That's what that's what we're down there for. You want to finish drives and, and put seven points on the board. So. We didn't do a good enough job of that tonight, I guess today slash tonight, because <laughs> the game was so long. But, uh, but yeah, I, we did some good things, uh, even in the red zone. Within the red zone, we did some good things. We just have to be more consistent and, and be able to, to get those points where we're down there. Did you feel like you were shaking off any rust out there, or were you, you know, maybe not as sharp as you maybe could have been if you were playing maybe six games in or not having such a layoff from a decision you went for two miles? Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, it wasn't as, it wasn't as sharp as I'd like to be. Uh, like I said, I think I left some plays out there, some plays I like to have back. Obviously, the, the, the turnovers, hate to see those. Those need to be cleaned up. Um, but I felt come away from this this long day, this grind of a, of a game, and get a win, you know, feels good. It seemed like that ball was still kind of really nagging you guys. What did, what did you see there, and what did that mean to your offense? Yeah, yeah, we uh, had a great play call there into the coverage. You know, they played uh, played quarters for us, and Kenny was able to, to beat the corner on the outside. I had great protection, uh, great pocket. Uh, look at the picture on the sideline. It was, a, it was a beautiful pocket. You know, no one within four yards of me. You know, as I as I delivered that football. So, uh, started up front. Then Kenny did, ran a great route, and I was able to get him the ball. Not really, you know. I tried to stay in the present as much as I could. Obviously, probably tonight I'll reflect a little bit on that, on the grind that it was to get here. But um, you know, someone asked me during the game, "Does it feel weird that you're back?" I'm like, I was out here the whole preseason, like uh, I was tr- throughout the whole training camp, so it didn't feel any different, you know. So, um, but it was great to be <laughs> great to be back out here. Well, yeah, I think I think we responded today. It's it's tough to say, uh, you know, exactly what we are as a team yet. But I love the way we responded, um, the way we overcame the delays, came out with energy, and were able to play with energy uh, after sitting in your locker for two hours and going out and, and playing. So, both offense and defense, I thought, responded well to that adversity and, and the adversity within the game. Both sides faced a lot of adversity and just kept grinding, just kept sticking together and playing hard, and we're able to come out on top. I, I don't know, it's tough to think back that far, but uh, we do have a lot of speed, and I think that's an asset that our offense has. Uh, it's going to create problems for defenses throughout the year. You know, you have probably three, four guys that, that are, are burners, so, you know, it's, uh, it's 
it's a lot of fun to play with them. You know, we can do a lot of things with them. And uh, you saw Kenny stretch the field. Um, obviously, Jakeem on the kickoff was, you know, running. Who knows how fast he was running? I could barely see the guy. But uh, those are just a couple examples of, of the ways those guys can use their speed. Um, I don't know. I'll tell you tomorrow morning. But uh, felt all right. You know, it did feel. I think it was tougher the second time because, like I said, we were the first time we were kind of like in limbo the whole time. Hey, it's going to be whatever. I don't know what time it was at that point. Three thirty. So you kind of get up, start getting loose. Then it was four. So you sit down for a little while, then get up, start getting loose. Um, and the second time they were, like I said, they said probably seven thirty. Then came in at six thirty and said, Hey, you're on at ten minutes. So. Uh, that one was a little tougher to, to get up and get going just because of, of the quick turnaround and, and how fast we had to be on the field. But like I said, I thought the guys responded well, came out, and played with energy. And that's what you want to see during that, that playoff. How much easier is the line line offense to be for you when the run game is working efficiently? Well, it's huge. Obviously, you can run the football, and that opens up a lot of things for you. Um, helps you move the ball, helps you sustain drives, open up some play action for you. So. Yeah, when you have the run game going going for you, then uh, it's going to open up other things. And I uh, thought we did a good job, especially early in the game. You know, created some some big runs. Frank did a great job. Great to see, you know, Frank get some get some uh, some carries in. You know, didn't really see much of him in the preseason. So uh, really fun to to see him work and uh, and get the ball downfield. Thank you.